Hey guys, and welcome to the Family Fudge. Today's video is all about what I got my four kids for Christmas using an updated version of the four gift rule. Now, more on that later, but if you're looking for some budget-friendly gift ideas, or if you're just curious to see what I picked out for my kiddos this year, then definitely stay tuned. And you guys, just like last year, I wanted to do something fun to give back. So for today's video, I'll be picking one subscriber to win a $100 Amazon gift card. Entering this giveaway is super easy. Just use the link in the description box below. All you have to do is be subscribed to this channel, give this video a thumbs up, and leave me a comment down below about what you'd like for Christmas this year. Now this year, instead of doing a bunch of presents for the kids, we decided as a family to do an experience, something that we could do all together and then just have a few smaller gifts on the side for the kids to open on Christmas morning. Just last week, for our big family experience, we splurged on tickets to the Mickey's very merriest after hours Christmas party at Disney World. Now honestly, this was such a fun time full of festive treats, fun rides, parades, and fireworks. Overall, it was a wonderful experience and I'm super thankful for the memories we made as a family. So now back to that four gift rule. You might have heard of it and it's a great guideline to follow if you're trying to make Christmas gifting simplified. The rules say four gifts from four categories, something they want, something they need, something they wear, and something they read. This year, I decided to change this up a bit. Our four categories are something they want, something they read, something they play, and something they squeeze. Now, in the something they play category, I'm including a non-electronic game, something that we can play all together as a family. And then for the something they squeeze category, I'm including some kind of hands-on activity like Play-Doh, a craft, or STEM project. So for each kid, we decided on a budget of around $100 for the four gifts. Now, in addition to this, the kids are gonna be doing a secret Santa gift exchange amongst themselves, and of course, Santa's gonna be bringing them a gift too. So first up is my daughter, Mackenzie. She is about to turn 12 next month. I got Mackenzie this mini backpack, and this is a lot like the ones that you might find at Disney World, but of course this is an Animal Crossing themed one instead. She loves all things Animal Crossing, and I know she's going to love this mini backpack. And one of the neat things about this backpack is that because this is a Nintendo product, it actually has a special spot right in the back for her switch. So it's a great switch carrier as well. Next up is Mackenzie's book. And you guys, this one looks super interesting. She was telling me all about this new series. It is a Disney book, but with a twist. So this is basically the story of Cinderella if she had never tried on the glass slipper. So this looks so interesting. So I'm not quite sure, but I think that there's at least a couple in this series and I know she's going to be excited for the Rapunzel one as well. So maybe she'll get that one for her birthday if she likes this one. For Mackenzie's game, I decided to get her Hungry Hungry Hippos. But again, this one also has a twist. This is Hungry Hungry Hippo Launchers. So in this version of the game, you actually launch the marbles and the mouths of the hippos open and close and you have to get it in the mouth. Now I'm excited about this one because I know she's gonna love it, but I also think it's a great game for all the kids to play together. It's not gonna be too hard for my youngest. And then we have something to squeeze. Now all of my kids love kinetic sand and I do too, but this one looks super fun because it's actually a little ice cream treat theme and it comes with a little waffle maker as well. Now this doesn't come with a ton of sand, so I did get a couple of extra to go with it. And you guys, these ones are scented. So this one is actually cookie dough. This one is blue raspberry. And then this one is banana. 
Now, of course, Mackenzie will also get a gift from Santa. She'll be getting a stocking and she has a secret Santa gift. And her secret Santa was Jackson. I decided to get her Stardew Valley and an Isabel plush. What is this exactly? I'm pretty sure it's like a pixel game on a Switch. I don't know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's about like farming or something. Well, I have no idea, so I guess we'll find out. Next up is my oldest son, Jackson, and he's turning 10. Okay guys, so now the item that Jackson wanted the most was probably this X shot, which is so big, it's hard to get it all in this one picture. This time he specifically asked for this crusher version, and this thing is huge. It also comes with 48 extra darts, which is awesome. For Jackson's something to read, I got him this popular MMOs, which is actually a graphic novel. This looks really interesting. I guess these guys are on YouTube, although I've never actually heard of them before, but you guys let me know if you have. I know Jackson is going to be excited to see this. Now for Jackson's game, I got him a Simon, which I may end up regretting because this thing can be kind of loud, but he picked this up when we were at the store and held on to it for quite a long time. So I know he's gonna love it. I know the other kids are gonna love playing with it as well. Now, I actually remember this game from when I was a kid. Basically, the lights light up in a certain order, and then you have to press the buttons in that order as well. So, it's a very good game for memory skills. Woo. Next up, we have the Ooze Lab, which has a lot of slime in it, so it's definitely hands-on, but it also has lots of different chemistry experiments. These ones are safe, of course, perfect for younger kids. And I know he is going to love this. He is just so into this kind of stuff. And then you guys, Jackson Secret Santa turned out to be Lily. You got Jackson? <laughs> you got Jackson? <gasps> Shh, gotta be quiet. <laughs> I decided to get Jack a Minecraft creeper and a goat, cause he really likes Minecraft. Now that brings me to my daughter, Lily. Lily is eight years old. The number one thing on Lily's list was this new Tamagotchi. And you guys, these have definitely come a long way since I was a kid, because I remember having one of these and it did not do this many things. Now, if you haven't heard of these before, they're basically like a virtual pet. You have to take care of it and feed it and all that kind of stuff. But this one actually takes pictures as well. So that's really fun. And it looks like it's in color too. Next up, the something to read category. I got her this five minute girl power storybook. So of course this is a Disney book, so it has lots of her favorite Disney characters. And I love that these stories are just five minutes long. And I love that this one features lots of female characters. For Lily's something to play, I got her this really funny picky kitty game. Now she saw this and fell in love immediately. She loves that it's an orange cat, just like our kitty pumpkin. This is a super simple game, so I know all the kids will be able to play this. And it's actually really funny. Basically you put a lot of foods and vegetables on the kitty's plate, and when it's too much, the kitty throws the plate and all the food goes flying. And now for something to squeeze, I got Lily this kinetic sand kit, and this is actually the Sandy Land. So this is kind of like Candyland meets kinetic sand. This looks so fun and colorful. Of course, the sand is scented like strawberries, so I know she's gonna love that. And of course, I love that it has a case so that when she's not playing with the sand, it has a place to be put away and she can keep it nice and tidy. And then, like I said, Lily will be having a Santa gift, a stocking, and her secret Santa was Griffin. And I decided to get her some doyables. So this one is a frozen one. And then we don't know what's inside this one, right? Because it's a mystery. Mm -hmm. It could be any of these Disney characters. And then finally, my youngest son, Griffin, he is five. Okay, now the first thing on Griffin's list was definitely a Ryan toy. 
Griffin loves Ryan World, and I think I've been getting him a Ryan's World toy for Christmas for at least a couple, maybe three years or so. This one is actually the airplane. It comes with six different figures, and it just looks so fun. I know he's gonna love it. And this is a Target only toy, so if you're looking for this, you gotta look at Target. For Griffin's something to read, I got him this musical player Sesame Street book. Now, Griffin's not a huge Sesame Street fan, but I know what he's going to love is this little kid CD player. This looks like so much fun, and it comes with four different discs full of kid-friendly songs, plus, of course, the book itself. So these are all classic children's songs. They look so fun. For something to play, I got Griffin the Mini Brands game. All of my kids love Mini Brands, especially Griffin, and since he's five now, I think he can handle this game. It's kind of like a, a shop till you drop sort of game. Okay guys, now for something to squeeze, I'm gonna have to clear some space because this is a big one. I got the big Play-Doh pack from Sam's Club, one thing I did not find at Target. This is something I end up buying the kids almost every Christmas, either from Costco or from Sam's Club because it's such a great deal. It comes with all of the Play-Doh itself and all of these tools. Now I'm pretty sure I bought this one last year, but it's been long gone. And again, this is something that Griffin will like, but all the kids can actually do together as well. And then Griffin's secret Santa was Mackenzie. For Griffin, I decided to get the Mini Brands Mini Convenience Store. This looks so fun. He has his own store in his room, so I think he's gonna love to have a mini store. So you kind of build the shop and then you can fill it in with all of the little food items that he already has. And what'd you get to go with this? I got the Five Surprise Toy Mini Brands. Ooh, so we can have food on his shelves, but also some mini toys. Okay, you guys, now let me know in the comments down below if you've ever used the four gift rule before. I do hope this video gave you some gift ideas. Again, don't forget to subscribe and enter the giveaway. The link for that will be in the description box below. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.